Welcome to Exasperated Nerd Explains. The first trailer for Netflix's Lock and Key was released, and I'll explain the basic premise of the show and some details for those who are unfamiliar with the story. Lock and Key was originally a comic book written by Joe Hill and drawn by Gabriel Rodriguez. Before the story begins, Rendell Locke is murdered. Afterwards, his widow, Nina, and her three children, Tyler, Kenzie, and Bodie, move into Key House, Rendell Locke's family home. Here they start to unravel mysteries behind Rendell's murder and the home itself, which contains keys with magical powers and an evil lurking within. To be honest, this trailer felt like a tonal departure from the comic. The comic is not humorless, but it is pretty dark and it has a lot more of a horror vibe than a magical one. I mean, there's murder, emotional trauma, a guy gets cut in half, it's not exactly kid friendly. The town they moved to is called Lovecraft after all. For this TV adaptation, the name of the town has changed and the tone feels like it has changed with it. It feels more whimsical magic, like Harry Potter, than dark Lovecraftian horror. And I'm not even talking about depressing camping in the woods Harry Potter, I'm talking about the first two films here. This could just be how the trailer was cut, but this property has been in development for a while. They have shot two pilots previously, both of which were rejected before they began filming this Netflix series. And maybe that's how they got this one to succeed where the others failed, by making it focus more on the fun and adventure potential with the keys. Netflix may be going for the next Stranger Things. Like I said, there's all sorts of keys with magical properties and the trailer really only shows one directly, the ghost key. Using this key and passing through the threshold that opens allows your ghost or spirit to leave your body. Others can't see or hear you, but you can see and hear others. You can return to your body simply by going back through the doorway, as long as it's still uninhabited. Ooh. The, ghost. the trailer also shows the head key, which allows someone's head to be opened so thoughts and memories can be inserted or removed. You can use this to remove certain aspects of yourself or share knowledge and memories. They also show them using the Omega key in the trailer, which, without going into spoiler territory, is where the keys originate and is the main thing the bad guy is after. There is also a key shown in the music box which I don't recognize. They may have changed the design from the comic or it may be a wholly original key. There are several keys that are only used for one panel in the comic books and their look and powers are somewhat ambiguous. There are a few keys that I'm sure will show up from the comics, but the possibilities are pretty much endless so I wouldn't be surprised if they create new keys for the TV show. It looks like the shadow key is being used in the trailer, which lets you control shadows, but there could be some other explanation for this scene as well. I'm not sure how many seasons the show can go solely due to the fact that children, you know, grow up. A 16 year old Bodhi wouldn't really work if they are going to keep the original story. The main story of the comics was pretty short, but there have been lots of one shots expanding on the mythos which could be tied into the show detailing more of the history and origins of everything. Even though the story concluded in the comics several years ago, a new one-shot just came out a few months ago, so there could always be a follow-up story as well. This trailer actually dampened my excitement for the show since it was so tonally different from what I expected, but I'll give it a shot when it premieres next month. Thanks for watching, please let me know what you thought of the trailer, what keys are you looking forward to seeing in action, check out my other videos, bye.